This is Upfront. Dispatches from the new majority. This is public radio news. On BBC Asian Network. This is Apex Express right here on KPFA. ALW Studio in San Francisco. Gallister College in St. Paul. Hello, Connecticut. KFCF in Fresno. This morning on San Diego. People. What's the movie Divided We Fall? Divided We Fall. Divided We Fall. Film that's being showed across country. Divided We Fall. A wonderful movie. It's a documentary. Divided We Fall. We're going to be called. talking about actually a road trip that reveals cracks in America's post-9-11, so we're going to be hearing that up first. In September 2001, Valerie Kaur was a 20-year-old college junior studying religion and international affairs. She planned to go to India to interview people about religious conflict. Then, like millions of others, she saw the TV images of the World Trade Towers falling again and again. They were intercut with pictures of a bearded and turbaned Osama bin Laden. On the third day, I began to read the, the crawling at the bottom of the screen that read, Seek Man Killed in Mesa, Arizona, in hate crimes. But first, we have some breaking news to tell you about. I'm at a Mesa gas station near 80th Street and University. An employee was shot and killed. You can see behind me, police are still on the scene investigating. One man is dead. The targets are these three locations, two gas stations and a private home in Mesa. You've seen the patrol cars before. You've seen the crime case and the detectives at the scene. But when you see the family and friends arrive, you start to understand there may be something different about the murder of Balbir Singh. He is a native of India, a follower of the Sikh religion. His family has also been targeted by people who Kaur changed her travel plans. She set off across America instead. To go on the road and document this violence myself. But she was nervous. She was young, had no film experience. We didn't know exactly what we were doing. Why is it recording? Gotcha. We were no filmmakers. And wondered if even the Sikh community would take her seriously. All the other kids had names like Simranjit and Amradeep. Their parents were Indian immigrants, and their dads were Sikh turbans. My name was Valerie, and my dad... My dad dressed like Indiana Jones before there was an Indiana Jones. So here I was, you know, why, why, who am I to do this? And that's when the voice of my grandfather came back to me, articulating the central heart of the Sikh faith. Nam Danishnan. In order to realize God and realize yourself, you must act. Here and now. And that's exactly what Cor and her cousin Sunny did. They hopped into a Honda Civic with a map, camera, and list of questions. Along the way, they heard many stories. And then the second plane, we actually saw it come, and then you just saw a big explosion in it. And they said again, you better take that turn off the terrorist. Somebody bring their car behind my brother and shoot five times in the back. It took a horrible event a couple of months ago to bring us together. We hope that we can take this opportunity to strengthen the bond that we share as Americans. Core discovered how quickly people who considered themselves American were suddenly made to feel foreign. She and her cousin experienced it too. Muslim. How do you, why do you say I'm Muslim? Because we're in a turn. Right. I was just wondering if he was a Christian. It was the very first time that I saw myself through the eyes of other people who saw me as less American, as foreign, as suspect, as less than human. People usually don't do that. Did you say it because you wear a turban? Yeah, basically. It was a very profound thing to experience when you're at an age where you're trying to figure out who you are. But there were stories of hope, too. There was one last person I hadn't talked to. I boarded a plane to India to find the widow of Bhavir Sodhi. And she was there, dressed in white, the color of mourning. There were dark circles under her eyes. She would begin to cry at just the mention of his name. How could I ask her anything? Sorry, can they have a word with you? I know now. 
I managed only one question. What would you tell the people of America? I was expecting anger, bitterness, regret, something that matched the despair I was beginning to feel. Hindu, Muslim, Sari, Christian, Sap, Maker, Savron, Desi, Egalene, we are pretty sick here on this. The Chanin again, 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 this was the heart of America, the one that lived in her memory. The heart of America is found in the spaces where people have come together for just a moment and left a trace. Places like Mesa and Phoenix, where hundreds spontaneously gathered at the Sodi gas station to pray and mourn throughout the night throughout the days and weeks that followed. This crime has really awakened the community. I've never seen a memorial grow so quickly. People have been coming out here to the crime scene nonstop. Trying to take home a lesson. We just live three miles that way, and we'll do anything that we can to help. Family says it couldn't and would not have reopened had it not been for the huge show of support from their customers and their friends. Thousands came to the memorial. One human being story brought together an entire city. Stories can change how we see. Stories can break down the wall, dividing us from them. After her journey, she has become a critical idealist, someone who remains hopeful despite being keenly aware of the realities of prejudice. She says it's often the small acts of ordinary people that define the American identity. All of us are given um, a window <laughs> in life where we're presented with a choice of, uh, of doing something that terrifies us but seems incredibly important and necessary or turning back into what is comfortable and what is stable and secure. For Valerie Kaur, that choice ended in making her film, Divided We Fall. Thank you. 